Hey everybody, I'm Justin. And we're so sad when these are gone. And I'm Jeff. It's exposure therapy. We wanted to try some Swedish Christmassy foods mm -hmm. and kind of share our experience since it's our first Christmas in this country. We're really dressed for the occasion. They light up, I love it. We got these at Disneyland Paris. Mm -hmm. What's first? Maybe we can start with something easy. So these are pepper cockor or pepper caca. There's spices pictured, is that cinnamon? Yeah, there's ginger, cinnamon, clove. This was popping up in grocery stores mm -hmm. for a while now, like mid-fall. Okay, you wanna try it? Yeah, let's try it. Oh, it comes in little sleeves. Ooh. It's a cookie. Super thin. So thin. It smells good. It smells kind of like a ginger snap, but it's, like more spiced. Yeah, it does smell good. And just like that. Mm, this one's good. It's like light, has like a crispness, and you feel the warmth of the spices and like a little bit of the, on the top end, there's the ginger. Mm. Oh, that's good. Okay. Well, we're buying that brand every year if we want. Yeah. What is it? Annas? Oh, like Anna's. On this original pepper cockor. It's 19.29. Oh my god. I liked it. I like it a lot. Yeah. So, um, we basically ate breakfast like two hours ago. So I'm not hungry at all. No. So we'll see what happens. What is next? I want to do the Yule Sker. What is it? Can you show us the name? What is it? Yule Skoom. Yule Yule Skoom. Yule Skoom. I guess. Final observation I have is that skoom, I see that word on fire extinguishers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Is that where the English foam. word scum came from? Christmas foam, that's great. Who's ready for some Christmas foam? Who's ready for some Christmas foam? I don't exactly know what these are gonna be like. They kind of remind me of like circus peanuts. Those like chewy marshmallow. I hope not. Hopefully these are like more tasty. Yeah. Do they smell good? Oh. Fruity. What? I think it's supposed to be Santa Claus. I don't know if they can see it. Cover your face. Does that work? I don't know. We'll see. Oh my god. It's scary. It is kind of scary. It smells vaguely fruity. Like kind of strawberry. Ready? Oh. It's a circus peanut, but less um, stale. Oh, I've had this before. I like it. Is it dissolving in your mouth? A little. It's like a marshmallow in that has a kind of squish, but then it has the bite of, like if Starburst was like more airy. It's good. I like this a lot. Wow. It's definitely scummy. Oh, you know what? This says, Skum gudis med your goop smack. So it is like strawberry flavor. Mm -hmm. Scummies. <laughs> we're two for two so far, personally. And yeah, that was nice. Those were the two things I was kind of unsure about. Everything else I'm like, yeah, well, we'll get, we'll get to some things. I have beverage now. Oh my God, is it time? Yeah. Oh my God. You want to show them? Yes. Okay, so, um, if you have been following our channel, you know that I'm a fan of seasonal drinks. Pumpkin spice. But I'm also really big on like eggnog. Why did you say that so weird? Eggnog. eggnog. <laughs> I really like eggnog. What else is there? Like ciders are good. That's like mm -hmm. seasonal. Um, this is a, specifically a Swedish Christmas drink. That I didn't know existed until I moved here. Justin's had it, I haven't. I've been keeping my first reaction for this video. It's been a challenge. Well, because I had a friend who was drinking it and I asked about it. He was like, oh, just try it. So when I tried it, I'm not right. gonna be like, oh no, I'm gonna not try it because I wanna film a YouTube. <laughs> As a YouTuber, I can't actually try that first. I have to wait for my YouTube. It doesn't smell like anything to me. I guess Coke doesn't really smell like much. But you said it kind of, it tastes like Coke? Kind of. You'll be able to tell a difference. Okay. I'm also wondering since we just say candy, if this is gonna taste different to you. Well, you, since you already know, you can let me know.
the first taste I tasted was kind of root beer -y. And then the second, like the aftertaste was like Coca-Cola. It's almost like a more herbal Coca-Cola or something. Yeah. Honestly, almost a little bit like, like a wine flavor, but not wine, you know? Like that kind of, no? I don't get what you're talking about. Like that fermented fruitiness, but it doesn't taste fermented. So it doesn't taste fruity. Really? It almost kind of tastes like um, if a Ricola didn't have any of the menthol -y. Am I confusing herbs with fruit? Fruity in the same sense that Coca-Cola kind of has a fruity flavor and that it doesn't have a fruity flavor, but it's like fresh, maybe? Mm. I love it though. Coke's my favorite soda. And then this, I mean, this checks off all the boxes of like things that I would like. I don't know if it has caffeine though. Yeah, anyone that knows that there's caffeine in this, let us know. I don't think there is. A fun little story I know about this is that the brand Coca-Cola has been trying for a long time to buy the rights to this recipe from this Apotec Carnes brand because um, every winter the sales of Coke drop drastically in this country because everyone buys this instead. Our Swedish friends say it's like sweeter than Coke, but I feel like mm. American Coke is sweeter than this. I've had some European Cokes, the like European Coca-Cola since moving here, and this is sweeter than that, but for sure not as sweet as American Coke. Yeah. <laughs> really sweet, I guess, for the Swedish palate, but not really sweet for the American palate. No. I'm gonna be drinking this the entire rest of the year. Yay! What's next? I need some chips. So we're gonna eat these chips. Spoilers! So I've already been eating them because I like them. We both have. But they, they're they called Christmas cheese chips? I have no idea what that means. Going into this, we kind of like didn't do too much research, right? No, I just, I was interested in this because it's in my wheelhouse of things I like. Yeah. But then I think what we wanted to accomplish is we didn't, we wanted to kind of go in a little bit blind and just go based off of like, either what we see in the grocery stores or what our friends or coworkers or whatever tell us. So then that's why we're just like... Yeah, like the pepper kakor and the yuliskum just popped up when this popped up in the grocery store, like October or something. And back then I was like, it's not even Halloween guys, what's going on? So these are just regular potato chips. If we cover up both our faces, I don't think it makes it. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat it. These are the best potato chips I've ever had that weren't from Asia. I'll agree with that, yeah. It almost feels like it's like fondue flavor. It says salty is like a classic Lay's chip, right? Mm -hmm. Cheesy, but like a mild cheese. But then there's like a little bit of funk to it. Like maybe like slightly vinegared. There is, yeah, the vinegary. Which is like a fondue. It's fantastic. I have no idea what it means. It's just Christmas cheese. And then Christmas cheese isn't even a cheese you can buy, is it? No. I don't think so. Who knows? It might be. If anyone Swedish is watching this, let us know. We're just eating. No. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> That's good. I'm so sad when these are gone. Let's open these. Okay. So Gifflar, these are like little, they look like little cinnamon rolls, but then they make saffron ones. And then Lutza Cat are like saffron buns again. Don't these have like raisins in them normally? Yeah. And they're a different texture. Smell that saffron. I don't know, someone Swedish told me like Sweden used to be like a much poorer country than it used to be. So then to celebrate, you would splurge on food and things that were still like necessary. So like kids back then used to get oranges and like more exotic fruits. And then saffron as a spice was considered something more exotic since it didn't have any origins from here. So then they would like use it in baking and things like that. So I think that's where that came from and that's why there's so much saffron in everything now. You can kind of see tiny specks of the saffron, like tiny, tiny. Oh, a little bit in the dough. Like a tiny, yeah. These are not the most expensive thing, so they don't have a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, these are like hostess. Or did you eat it? Oh, yeah. Oh. Mmm. Then what's the filling? It seems like almond. Yeah. 
It's all almond. I don't really like this. I no. like the cinnamon flour better. Basically picture this, but like a cinnamon roll. I mean, we're gonna finish the bag because it's good. It's just not as good as the regular. So Lucy Cat are more like regular buns. But the shape is like... This is the shape. Yeah. Like an S. There's no raisin in here. There's not? It just tastes like bread to me. Yeah. Like slightly sweetened bread. Definitely not. These aren't my favorite. I'm missing the raisin. What does saffron taste like? Mm. This? I'm just like, hmm. Oh, but the weird thing. Saffron in this country gets sold at... Um, like drugstores. Yeah. So you go up to like the cash register and they just have like little packets of saffron. It's great. I love it. Is it because it's expensive? So it's like controlled that way? Or maybe like if you use enough of it, it becomes like opium. Does it? Yeah, I have no idea how to describe saffron. I've n I hadn't had saffron before moving here. Really? No. Nope. Yellow rice is saffron. Yeah, but I don't know. I never noticed a real like. Okay, so saffron, it's like a slightly floral flavor. Yeah, it's almost kind of vegetal and floral in a way. That makes it taste fresh because it's like a hostess. The texture is like very like fake fluffy. It's like Wonder Bread. So it reminds like me of home. <laughs> What's next? Aladdin. I don't know if this is real. There's a YouTube channel that we follow, Fun Swedish, but she had a video about like Christmas traditions in Sweden and one of them was this, which lines up with a commercial I saw one day on like before a youtube video where it was this family like sitting at christmas and like they they brought this out and then i don't know the uncle or something took the good one and then everyone got mad or something i don't know i like falling asleep <laughs> are we gonna eat like one of every type we can just show it off and maybe no we have to eat one of every type <laughs> We have to give the people what they want. Don't ask me why it's called Aladdin, I have no idea. Racism. Probably. This is the dark chocolate kind. Okay, let's see, what does it look like? <gasps> wow. Oh, there's a description on the inside. Oh, really? <gasps> wow. Oh what does my it look god. Like? It looks like every mixed chocolate thing. Oh, there's a second layer though, that's nice. Ooh. Oh my god, there's... I hope this chocolate's good, otherwise it'll be a lot of waste. We're just trying to learn the culture. I want to try the strawberry one, I bet that's going to be nasty. Yeah. I don't know, this looks like, um, Russell Stover. It's better than Russell Stover, for sure. World's ahead of Russell Stover. Mm -hmm. Probably because they don't have access to high fructose corn syrup here. The lack of high fructose corn syrup makes mm -hmm. everything better. It's still not good. I mean, if you like it, good. I like a lot of terrible things. <laughs> As an American, I definitely love a lot of terrible things. I want to try the curse out. And I'll try Where's the vanilla. I don't like that. I love this. <laughs> Tastes like fruity a little bit, like a little bit like a like lime, but also berry. I have no idea what curse is. It's really good. It reminds me of like fruity pebbles. Ew. But in a good way. I don't want to eat anymore. <laughs> I think the idea is like the whole family eats it. There's only two of us. And you like fist fight over which one you want. You have to punch grandma in the face. Yeah. You, you have like, to fight. No grandma. Cry. You have to have a knife. Oh, you have knife fights for it. Mm -hmm. Why is there only one of these? You'd think there'd be multiple of these because it's probably the cheapest. I did hear that they, this used to be different and there used to be some kind of crispy cereal one or something. I could be misremembering, but there's something that's no longer in this that everyone was livid about when they took it out. Oh, so then we shouldn't have bought it in solidarity. Except everyone's still buying it. Oh, okay. Like two different people like grabbed Aladdin's while we were trying to decide which one we wanted. Okay, I'm gonna try an orange one. I don't want the orange one. We don't have to have any. We have to have <laughs> more. The strawberry one was fine because like the Russell Stover strawberry has no tang, no tartness, and it's just like sugar and like fake strawberry, like, Cadbury cream inside of like crappy chocolate. And this chocolate is fine, but that was like a little tart, so it was nice. This one, the vanilla one, I didn't taste any vanilla. It was like a car caramel. It was super sweet and it just wasn't that great. Mm. So I'm like, oh, maybe the caramel will actually taste like caramel. Maybe. And you're having the orange one. I love the orange one because I'm a huge fan of orange and chocolate. Okay, this one's fine. 
not great, but it's fine. It's just caramel, but it's not like a super sweet caramel. This one is chocolate filled with chocolate, <laughs> but it has like the orange oil. It's all right. Mm. I've had better. I agree. I'm just gonna, I'm like feeling a little gross. <laughs> no, I'm not. I just don't like it. What do you want to have next? Okay, you get to open that one. Here we go, guys. Here we go. So I don't know if this last one is specifically Christmassy. We had like a Christmas-themed potluck, right? And this was another thing that the Swedes brought. Specifically the synapse. It's just like pickled herring. This is like Alexander Skarsgård. Should I look it up? Because this one's obvious. French. <laughs> French onion. Oh wait, that sounds good. Right? It means archipelago. That doesn't describe the flavor at all though. This is archipelago flavor. I love pickled fish. And I honestly, I'm pretty sure I've had all of these kinds because one of my friends from when I was in Florida, they would always have pickled herring on um, New Year's, I think. I don't love all fish, so we'll see. <laughs> this looks like it has fish eggs in it. That's that archipelago flavor. You still have your Yule Moose ready? I'm just kidding. I'm sure it's gonna be good. I don't know, I, I do. like this kind of food. Pickled herring in a mustard. Ready? Mm. Do you like it? I taste a little of the fish, but mostly like it's like a creamy mustard. Like a creamy, pickly mustard. The interesting thing to me is like, the texture of the fish, this is not like a cooked fish. The texture is almost like gummy. Ready for some You like it? Mm -hmm. I like it. Okay, let's go on to the next one then. French onion. It smells a lot more pickly. I don't know if I smell onion though. It smells like relish. Oh, oh no. I kinda don't like that you can see the fish. <laughs> it's not saucy enough for you. It tastes good. Also, I like the creaminess. Um, this one tastes definitely better for me. I don't taste any fish really. It tastes like an oniony relish. I don't know if that's my favorite. When I eat fish, I wanna taste the fish. Yeah, I don't know. I like the creaminess because it makes it feel more weird. More Swedish. <laughs> yeah, yes. The Swedes love their sauces. Wait, I feel like this one might be my favorite. This was the archipelago one. What is this like mayo? I'll try not to drop it, but still show it off. I'm just smelling it. Maybe I'm just smelling my nail polish. Definitely has like roe in it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And like, there's like specks of like herbs, maybe dill. Or something. Yeah, not much of a smell. Ready? Here we go. This one's either my favorite or my least favorite. <laughs> I think it's my least favorite. Least favorite. <laughs> to me, it has the fishiness from the the synops, the mustard one, but not the mustard. So, it's just a creamy. Does it kind of taste like milk, miracle whip? Like sweet mayonnaise? It tastes like sweet mayonnaise. Fishy sweet mayonnaise. So make of that what you will. I'll give it a second bite, which is the rest of it. That was a mistake. <laughs> It's exposure therapy. Yay. That's it, we finished with the fish. <laughs> That's what this is for. And you also have cookies right there. Ew. I think it's gross when people rinse their mouth out with like not mouthwash or water. Me too, but I had to do what I had to do. Not a huge fan of sweet, creamy fish. I think the 
The mustard is my favorite. I think the, the French onion is my favorite. Although I'm not sure why it's called French onion. It doesn't taste like French onion soup. No. If you have soup in France that's onion, is it French onion soup or would you then just call it onion soup? I like these. They're like, I feel like the texture is nicer than circus peanuts. Wait, do you want one? Um, yeah. So the, the French onion one, I think I like it because it has like ginger and... Well, those cowers should make it creamy. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, I had a lot of fun. Did you? Yeah. This candy is good though. Yeah, it's actually really good. I take it back. This is the best. Oh, are we doing that? Our favorite and least favorite? Okay, yeah, let's do it. My least favorite was this. Sorry to the archipelagos. I'm pretty sure it probably refers to the Stockholm archipelagos. Oh, well. Oh. My least favorite are all of these chocolates. They're garbage. Sorry to Swedes, but this made me lose my mind. I mean, it's better than Russell Stover, I'll give you that. If I had to choose between, absolutely I would go with this over Russell Stover. A million times over. But they're just so boring. If I want chocolate, I want to get like good chocolate. My favorite thing, I'm going to die without these. I want to stock up on bags and bags of these. They're so good. They're literally my favorite potato chip that's not like from Asia. My favorite thing is this because I love seasonal drinks. Oh my it's God. pretty good. Okay. That was fun. That was fun. Like and subscribe to catch what we do next. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Um, okay, bye. <laughs> Happy holidays. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. God Yule. Merry Christmas. Godzin. Happy 4th of July. Nitor. Godz Nitor. Is that it? That's it. Ready for some Christmas songs?